Hello, this is Miles McGinn, and I wanted to share with you today how to attach files into your content within Course Sites. The first possibility is to attach a file in an assignment or an item. The, the file will appear as an attached file here. A second option that's also very appealing, I'll scroll down and show you, is to attach a file in line within the text as you see here. If a student clicks on this it would download to their computer. So let's uh, demonstrate how to do both versions here. This works whether you're adding an item or you're adding an assessment like an assignment. But I would give the title of this uh, item a name and uh, maybe I'd give some directions in the text and then notice here you can attach the file here just by simply browsing your computer and going through your desktop or going through your folders and then linking it and then hitting submit so that was pretty easy when I do that method you'll see the file populate just below the title right here. Let's demonstrate method two where you can add the file in line with the text. This method works anytime that there is a text editor. Give the file a name. And imagine I'm starting to write some directions. Uh, simply just attach a file using the little uh, paperclip icon here, insert file, search your computer, choose an appropriate file. Now this is somewhat important here. This is how it's going to appear in line in the text. If I don't want the docx to be uh, visible, or if I want to change this, I can maybe even write the word like click here. Um, if there's a lot of options. Then uh, you can modify that. I'm going to leave it as is for now. And so here's how it appears. Open the file titled. Perfect. If I give it the title, then the student will know what to expect in their downloads folder. It'll have the same title name. So that, that is one um, interesting uh, option to pursue. Great. So then at the end, I would just uh, go ahead and hit submit. And uh, once I do this, I'm going to cancel there. But once I do this, again, it will appear similar to like this one, where it appears right into the in line with the text. Great, and I hope you found this uh, short instructional video on attaching files within Core Sites useful.